in the last episode, Crocodile was defeated by Dai with his master's special move, Advanced Trash. And with that, Dai, Pop, and Mom were able to move on to their next mission. Pop became a new man, wanting to help his friends in the face of danger, and has now built up his courage. And in this episode, Hadla sends out a message to all Legion commanders for an emergency meeting in order to conjure up a plan in defeating Dai. What is going on guys, my name is Roos and if you are new here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as it helps my channel a lot. Now, in episode 10, Hadla calls for an emergency meeting with the rest of the Legion members in order to talk about Dai and find a solution in order to get rid of him as the meeting had transpired due to the fatal blow Dai had given Crocodile in his fight. Because of this, Crocodile has now been placed in a regenerative liquid and now has a chance of living but only with a 50% chance which is a fairly even percentage of survival of either life or death. Ouch. The members of the Legion we were introduced to leading with their own command are Flazard, the Blizzblaze Legion who is the first out of the six we are introduced to and has a very bad temper with his cold side being his cunning side. The monster is a half hot and half cold being meaning that he can freeze humans and burn them at the same time or at different times each. Dragon Master General Baron of the Dragon Legion, Shadow Legion Commander Mr. Irvin, Zabuera Commander of the Mystic Legion of course and Hyonkel the Commander of the Undead Legion a man personally sent on his mission to Patnika to defeat Dai by the Dark King himself, which made Flazard enraged. The most shocking thing about Hyankel was that, one, he is a full-on human, which makes him an outcast compared to the rest of his monster companions, but also two, he was a student of Avan the Hero and was actually the first one, which was interesting. Now, to me, it was clear on why he became a bad guy. He just didn't have the exact same excitement for justice as he did like Avan and the others. And because of the justice he had seen with his own eyes or had witnessed, it wasn't the best example for him growing up. In his life, justice is weak and serves no place in his life. Will I say it is right? Hmm, I'm not sure. What I will say though is that Everybody has their own experience with life and it depends on each individual circumstances on what makes them turn to the light or dark. So I will say this, it's probably not his fault that he has taken up the seat by the villains. He must have had faith in something so much that when destroyed he lost all hope and because of that hurt and pain he didn't want to go down that route again. I honestly don't know, I'm just speculating here. Good luck to Dai and his friends though because this fight is going to be a bumpy one. Oh, wait. Let me express my happiness for the trio because after saving the king and his kingdom, Dai, Pop, and Mom were blessed with gifts by the king to show his gratitude and thanks. And because of how young and successful the amazing act they did for the kingdom was, the people also applauded and praised them, being happy that they can smile and live a better life once again now that the dark army has been ran out you see there are monsters all over the continent and in a way to take control of the world the dark army has sent them and so Dai, Pop and Mom must travel all over getting rid of them but not after they go ahead and save the princess of Papnika who is Dai's friend battle there has been the most tense and now it seems the land has been ruined and left in ruins. But maybe just after Hyankel has been beaten, they can locate the princess and save her because she would be a great addition to their team. It's been your boy Roos and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Whether you're watching or listening to this in the morning, afternoon or evening, I hope you guys have a good day. I'm out. Peace.